Greetings, mortals. As always, I am the Fallen Shogun. We are back with the run. Now, I have been playing this a little bit off camera too. Not on this run, on my own run. Like, researching things does increase stuff. But I am going to be honest. I actually went back to Bomber Crew to have a quick check of things. And, yeah. A space Crew isn't as good as Bomber Crew. So we're going to quickly talk about that, we'll obviously do one final thing. Probably, I don't know, kill a couple more aces or whatever, but... The core gameplay loop is you move from place to place, either on the easy route or the hard route, and you get continuously attacked by enemies. Now, you have six crew. In Bomber Crew, you had seven crew. In the American DLC, you had eight crew. So you had more people manning more weaponry. Like, one of the things you had in Bomber Crew and not in the Space Crew was you had the um, Bombardier, the guy who dropped the bombs, and when he wasn't doing his job, he could man the nose gun. So, you had that. You also had the ability to obviously do your own waypoints. Now, I can't remember, it's been a, little, been a few days since so I had a little look. But you could do your own waypoints across the ocean, choose your way across Europe in Bomber Crew. In Space Crew, no matter what you do, you have to go point to point. Every time you go to a new zone, you get attacked. You will always get attacked. On the easy route or the hard route, you will always get attacked. Which is a bit of a problem, because it means basically every time you jump, you're always fighting something. The stealth ability is just so you can repair yourself. Because, obviously, to go from one node to another, you have to power up the jump drive. If there's enemies nearby, it takes several minutes. If there's no enemies nearby, it takes five seconds. So you can't stealth your way out to safety. If your guys haven't... If you haven't identified enemy fighters attacking you, you know, the whole spotting, they could be right behind you, shooting you in the back end and boarding you, and your gunners will act like they do not, in fact, exist. Which is an issue. Because I feel, and like I was talking to Nemo Nemo about this, if the enemy is actively shooting you, they should be automatically identified. Because if your crewmen are that bad, then there's no real hope for the human race, as it were. You know, if there's literally guys outside shooting you continuously and your ship explodes because you're too busy trying to take out like the aces and the other fighters, and they're not fighting. It's bad. It adds another layer of micro, another layer of micromanagement, which does not need to exist. So yes, yeah, it's like third episode, but we're talking about it. If someone shoots at you, they should be identified, because it means if you identify them first, you should get some extra shots off. But if there's like 15 fighters shooting at you, and you've missed just one, and it say it's on your flank, shooting you continuously, and you don't notice till afterwards, you take a lot of damage, you take a lot of issues. And because you only have six crew, you have to take important people off somewhere. Your engineer can move power from place to place. So putting him on a gun means you can't route power to your guns or to your shields. Your security guy can, like, vent air, which is good against, you know, boarding and fires and so on, but you need him on a gun as well. Or your navigator, without him, you can't navigate to places or call in fighters. Or if you put your captain somewhere, you can't actually move. So when you were playing in Bomber Crew, you had seven, which of course allowed you to have a third gun constantly active, and you got to choose who the unimportant person was for that one particular moment. So dropping it down to six, honestly, it's stupid. You may like it, I genuinely do not, and like I said, because six forces you to micromanage more. There's already a lot of micromanagement on Bomber Crew, but dropping it down to six forces unnecessary micromanagement upon you. In Bomber Crew, you had seven, on, seven crew or eight crew because of the weight of the plane. That was the situation. You had to have the weight of the plane for the ammo, the crew and the bombs. You were a bomber. This is a spaceship. 
which means it's artificially forcing you of less people to do more things. And I've seen a lot of reviews, some people are saying it's amazing, some are saying it's casual, I think they're insane. And a lot of people, like 50-50, are saying the issue is the problem. The issue the problem is six people rather than seven or eight. So there's too much micromanagement, and the same case is always the same. Now obviously the big thing, like I say, is the gameplay spiral. Let's just, uh, I don't know, just clear enemy forces, medium risk. No matter, see this, if I go here, it's slower, but it's one, two, three stops. This is, this is two stops. But each stop, no matter what you're fighting, you'll be fighting. And that's the problem. You can't avoid combat. There is no special avoiding combat route. And you only get one weird jack of all trades ship. In the first one, you had a single bomber, and that was cool. Let's see, that one's fastest route. Yeah, the safe route always has enemies. The hard route always has enemies. But yeah, you don't... I mean, this ship alone, I'm honest, I don't care. The bombers were important in Bomber Crew because they had history and weight to them. They could do anything with this. This is like a jack-of-all-trade ship. It has four guns, tiny little... Uh, cargo bay and that's it. They could have made it so you had different numbers of ships. Maybe I wanted a cargo transport. You know, or something with six guns on it. So you could have, have more gunfire depending on what you're doing. Which would be pretty cool. Or, I don't know, uh, a scout ship which is faster but less guns so you could try and escape fighters. You could have multiple different ships, but you don't. You have the ship. Which is nice, you know, you can do things in it, but you don't have choice, you're always doing the same things. And look, on the safe route, the safe route, we're actively engaging the enemy again. This isn't safe, it just means you get, I don't know, less fighters. So instead of fighting four groups of three, you fight three groups of three. So yeah, they've definitely missed a trick. Okay, they come already. First group of three, on the safe route. Here's the next group of three, on the safe route. So the safe route's never safe. There's always combat. Shield draw you down on that side. Oh, here's the third group of three. There we are. And you're always fighting the same groups, the same numbers of fighters. There's no real change. And obviously I can't jump through to escape them because it's now going to take a minute. Now you can get a special ability so you jump faster. But if the enemy are fighting you there's no real escape. And your gunners aren't actually that accurate at close range. They're only gonna run the enemy coming directly at you. But yeah, every jump you do, you usually have to face between 9 and 15 fighters. You know, to get to the end. And then you have to come back. So you're fighting the same waves of troops on the way back. And that's the problem with the gameplay loop. The gameplay loop is the exact same. Fighting the same groups in the same areas over and over again. In Bomber Crew, you could set individual waypoints. And obviously go from place to place. You could actively avoid airfields. You could actively avoid the coast to get away from AA guns. You could go higher and lower to do certain things. In this, because you have to go through the, the points, you will always have to fight the enemy, because here comes the next set of enemies on the safe route. And I think that's the problem. I was really looking forward to this game. We have, like, named crew, like the named ship on the Star Jackal. Also, thank you very much, as always, Star Jackal, for the amount of funds you're sending me every month. You are absolutely helping me bankroll uh, a new computer. But look, it's a safe route. Now there's four of them. There'll be another group coming very soon, too. Look, 
that's the problem. The hard route and the safe route, the only difference is the amount of stuff. Here comes the heavy fighters. There'd probably be some boarding ships if I'd done the uh, hard route. There's no real reason to want to do the hard route. The only reason I'd do the, the faster route um, is basically just so I can actually, you know, get it done quicker on camera. Off camera you just do this route, but you're still fighting large numbers of ships. Oh, oh here come the boarding ships. Now because I, you know, I have my engineer here and my chief of staff here, as it were, my security officer, if I put him here, I could immediately go replenish shields. But again, he is currently doing something. You just don't have the crew to do stuff. You just don't have the crew, ever. Now obviously there's also upgrades and things you can do, but it never really, you know, replaces the lack of people you have. Which is a shame. I think, if anything, because this is actually a full release game, this isn't early access, they're not going to change it. If they'd added in Vorb Curl, oh, there's the, um... Okay, you need to man that front gun. There's their ace. As you can see, that's where the uh, other one came out, so we'd have come to the exact same position. You don't really change where you're going. Full fire support. Oh yeah, oh, see this? They're, they're shooting at it, but because we haven't identified them, my guy's just like, well, we'll ignore that. You've got him right next to us. I know there's an ability where you can, you know, mark your targets, but having the enemy right next to you not being marked, and because there's an ace, there's dozens of fighters, so we've done the hard route, we've been attacked by heavier things, and then still have to do this exact fight. Oh, the force is nearly dead, that's a shame. The politics nearly dead, that's a shame. But yeah, we just don't have the crew to do anything, so what's the bloody point? What's this Mandaguns again? Fanatic Mandaguns. Speed will do something. Yeah, and that's the issue. I don't know if I care enough to keep pushing through it, because it's the same loop over and over again. Easy or hard, you're always fighting the exact same enemies in the exact same ways as soon as you go through certain points. Like, even now, I'm not even trying to fight back, so I just don't care. But it is what it is. We're not even at the objective. The next, uh, the area we're fighting to get rid of is the next section. So, yeah. I think that about sums up the game. The, the, the point it goes through is the exact same point it always goes through. Oh well, Faustus is dead. And that's the issue. It's just the exact same loop going over and over again. You're always fighting the exact same guys. I'm still being attacked because they're not being identified. And you just don't have the people. So yeah. I think my genuine assessment of the game is if you like this kind of game, play Bomber Crew. This game has nothing to give on that exact same scenario. They could have done so much to it and they didn't. And now people are dying. Just is what it is. Like it's nice that when your people fall off the ship, they can be picked back up. It's nice of all sorts of things, but... Personally, I wouldn't say it has any kind of awesome things upon it. Let's go back to the main menu. Okay, I've gone back to the main menu. Just is what it is. So the crew's still better. So yeah, I just kind of went back. 
Maybe I should get some more skate pods. It's nice that you can actually have a skate pod. But it also has the same issue of if you get shot down in the future, just like in Bomber Crew, it's very, very expensive to replace the loss. That was the big issue of Bomber Crew, where if you lost your ship, I mean your plane, it was exceedingly difficult to carry on pushing forwards. It's a similar kind of thing. You know, there's obviously easier missions you can do which are repeatable, but then it's just a matter of grinding. Because obviously you've got to spend all the money and stuff, get your crew back up. So yeah, I think there's a lot of missed opportunities. They could have had multiple different ships. They should definitely up the number of people you're doing. It is so micromanaging. And... I don't know, it's just a bit weird. Even though in Bomber Crew you did roughly the same things over and over again, like you did bombing runs or you did pictures. It felt kind of unique. In this one you're doing exactly the same thing over and over again. They could have had all sorts going on. Which is, which is even weird saying it, because there are different missions going on. Sometimes you pick up, you know, a scientist from an exploding station. Sometimes you wipe out loads of enemy fighters. Sometimes you have to repair, you know, a satellite. But it's getting to them. It's the combat loop of always fighting, always having less crew. And, you know, always taking lots of damage. I think that's what makes it weird for me. Because you saw that. That was the easy route. And I was still fighting like 20, 30 fighters. And imagine doing that every single mission. There's no hiding from the enemy. You're always going to be attacked. It's always going to be the same number of fighters on each of those nodes. It's always going to be the same number of waves on each of those nodes. Sometimes it might change slightly, maybe even there'll be an extra fighter. Sometimes the ace appears with 30, 40 fighters for some unknown reason. In Bomber Crew, when the ace appeared, it was really dangerous, but he came with like a few other things. He didn't come with an entire armada. And because you don't have the crew to fight, it does make it more tactical, it does make it more exciting. But, you always feel like you need a 7th or 8th person. I don't know, I think I'm going to have to leave it here. I'm not having fun. It started off interesting, but I'm not having fun. So I'm sorry guys, if you are expecting more. But yeah, I've been the Fallen Shogun, this has been a Space Crew. I'm going to go back to Bomber Crew, I think, and... Ah, sod it. Playing a space game makes me want to play a better space game, so I might go back to a Star Sector. Either way, ciao for now, be awesome, be epic. I apologise if you're ex expecting excitement. It's just too repetitive. It's too repetitive and too micromanaging. Take care and stay safe out there.